Hi, I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about areas between curves. In problem number 53, we'd like to find the area of the shaded region here. So we have three curves that are bounding this region. Uh, we have this parabola y equals 9 minus x squared. We have this line y equals 8x and then we have another line y equals 5 halves x. And uh, the thing that can make this problem just a little bit tricky is that there's no clear upper function and lower function. We have to divide this thing up into some pieces to see uh, how to integrate it. And the way that I want to divide this up into pieces is the following. So if I look at this point right here and I just take a line straight down from that, then I get some x value. And before I get to this point, there's a clear top function and bottom function. The top function is the 8x, the bottom function is the 5 halves x. After this point, there's also a clear top function and bottom function. The top function is the parabola, the bottom function is the 5 halves x. So if we just break this thing into two pieces, the problem becomes a lot easier to manage. So let's break it into th these two pieces and uh, work with it that way. Now, before we do anything else, it's fairly clear that this x value is zero, but what is this x value? That's going to be important to me. And actually also, what is this x value? That's going to be important to me. And this is a situation, again, where I could set some things equal to each other and solve for x to find that out, or I could just kind of eyeball it. I think I want to eyeball it here. Uh, if I want to figure out where this parabola intersects this line, well, where is 8x equal to 9 minus x squared? Well, if I plug in 1 to both of these things, I get 8 and 8. So 1 is going to get the job done. And then here, what would we guess? Where is 9 minus x squared equal to 5 halves x. Uh, let's see, what if we plugged in 2? If we plugged in 2, we'd get 9 minus 4, which is 5. If we plugged in 2, we'd get 5 halves times 2, which is 5. So 2 gets the job done here. Okay, so we've got a 1 here, we've got a 2 here, and now we can write down the integral that's going to get the job done for us. So to calculate this area, what I want to do is I want to integrate, first of all, from 0 to 1. Okay, So I'm going to integrate this from 0 to 1, and then I'm going to say, well, what's the top function? What's the bottom function? The top function from 0 to 1 is this line. So that's 8x. And then the bottom function is this line, 5 halves x. x. Then I switch over to the region from 1 to 2. So now I want to add on the integral from 1 to 2 of the top function, but now the top function is this parabola 9 minus x squared minus the bottom function, which is 5 halves x. All of that dx. Okay, so if I take these two integrals, I should be able to find the area that I'm looking for. All right, so um, we've got our integral set up. Now we need to just work through it. Uh, so first of all, let's just take uh, these two and combine them together. Uh, eight is the same as 16 over two, and 16 minus five is 11 over two. So this is equal to the integral from 0 to 1 of 11 halves x dx. Then we can clean this guy up a little bit, and we could say this is plus integral from 1 to 2 of negative x squared minus 5 halves x uh, plus 9. All of that dx. OK, let's take an antiderivative. Antiderivative of 11 halves x would be equal to uh, 11 
fourths x squared evaluated from 0 to 1. And then over here, we're going to take an antiderivative, and we get plus. Antiderivative of negative x squared would be negative x cubed over 3. Antiderivative of negative 5 halves x would be um, negative 5 fourths x squared. And antiderivative of 9 is 9x evaluated from 1 to 2. All right, let's plug things in here. We plug in the 1 and we get 11 over 4. We plug in the 0 and we get 0, so we just get 11 over 4. Now let's plug in the 2 and we get uh, 8 thirds with a negative, so negative 8 thirds. We plug in the 2 and we get a 4 here, so I just get minus 5. We plug in the 2 and I get plus 18. Okay, that's the first piece. Now I need to plug in the 1 and I get minus a third. Plug in the 1 and I get minus 5 fourths. And I plug in 1 and I get plus 9. Now we just need to combine all these guys together. Let's see what we've got here. We've got 11 over 4, um, minus 8 thirds, minus 5, plus 18, plus 1 third, plus 5 fourths, and finally minus 9. All right, let's put this all together. Uh, first of all, how many constants do I have? I have 18 minus 9 minus 5, so that is 4. Now I could combine all of, so that gets rid of this guy and this guy and this guy. Now I have my thirds. Uh, well, let's take my fourths, actually. I have 11 fourths plus 5 fourths. That's 16 fourths, and 16 fourths is the same as 4. So we get an additional 4. So that takes care of my fourths. And then I have my thirds, which I have minus 8 thirds plus 1 third is minus 7 thirds. 4 plus 4 is 8, minus 7 thirds. How many thirds is an 8? I suppose it's 24 thirds minus 7 thirds is equal to 17 thirds. So the amount of area trapped in this little shaded region is exactly 17 thirds.